I'm not wanting a new goalkeeper, Martin. I'm wanting an Empire Biscuit. Back to Fog Football, Martin Dubravka, formerly of Manchester United, currently of Newcastle. Well, I guess it was a loan spell at United, but hell, he's got Premier League experience and abundance, just like a certain Joe Hart who left the club. So, Premier, Premier League um, experience seems to work for Celtic goalkeepers. You look at all of Celtic's goalkeepers over the past, like, Two decades, the best ones have all got that Premier League experience from Craig Gordon to Arthur Boric to Fraser Foster to Joe Hart. You know, they've all played in the Premier League and now Martin Nebraska could be the next one in line. Would it be a good signing for Celtic? I don't think he's their first choice, but it almost seems like they've been priced out of all our goalkeepers and they're having to like twindle down the line here to see who's left, who's available, who's next, who can we put up the top of the list here and bring in, and it looks like Martin has uh, drawn the short... Well, I say short straw. He's guaranteed a treble or something. Right, he's, gu he's guaranteed trophies. It's a win-win for Martin. It's a win-win for Martin. But uh, let's look at his stats from last season. 23 games in the Premier League. 42 goals conceded with only five clean sheets. I think that's quite bogging, I'll be honest. I don't think that's very good. Five clean sheets and 23 appearances and a Newcastle team that was very well-known for, um, you know, the previous season for their defensive record. Kind of went out the window last season. Nick Pope, of course, get injured, but he'll be back for next season. And if you're wondering why they're looking ready, it's because apparently the Geordies are closing in on a £15 million move for Burnley's James Trafford. And for me, that's everything that's wrong with English football. James Trafford going for £15 million. And you know what? I don't think that's that bad. I wouldn't be surprised if they paid like 40 for him. I don't even know who he is. Well, I know who he is, but he's not that good. Typical English market where some fucking bang average player can go for a top price. Just doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't make any sense. So, of course, he wouldn't want to play with third fiddle to Pope and Trafford. You may be wondering, okay, where does Celtic come in? How much are we Oh, to be in? fair, isn't he an English international? Did he not get called up? I think he got called up. I'm pretty sure he's never played a game. Well, Jack Butland couldn't get called up, so... Tom Heaton get called up, the train with the team, and Jack Butland couldn't even get that. Which I don't think's right. But anyway, doesn't matter what's right. This is the facts of the matter, man. The guy's contract runs out on the 30th of June next year. According to Transfer Market, he's got a transfer value of £1 million. Now, his highest transfer fee, or his highest transfer uh, value was £7.5 million. That £1 million, though, that must be without the English inflation. It so must be. Got to factor that in. Yeah, he was once rated as highly as, what, £7.5 million, but that was like four years ago when he was like 31. And he has played 43 games for Slovakia. So, you know, he's a, he's a good goalkeeper, right? He is approaching the end of his career. I mean, again, he probably could give you another five years, seven but that, years. That seems to be like the keepers that Celtic and Rangers are going to be getting. I think Rangers did very well to actually get Jack Butland. I would go as far as saying I think Jack Butland's a, about just as good a goalkeeper as you could expect to get for the old firm. Yeah, and that's, and that's before he's what good. he actually did for them. He's good, but still like younger than... Like when Joe Hart came, he was already like mid thirties. Yeah. Jack Butland had just really taunt thirty. So yeah, no, I think if Celtic Rangers are bringing in goalkeepers for the Premier League, you're 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 getting someone at the end of their career and not necessarily someone with still a lot of life left in the tank. Absolutely, uh, DC. Which is why I think Jack Butland won't be a Rangers player much longer. Now, had Jack Butland been thirty five, you could certainly make a case. Well, maybe I'll just see it his career. But I think because Jack Butland's performed well and he's still. You know, only, what, turn 31? Yep, something like that. I think that's actually going to work against Rangers. As for Dubravka, like I said, he's middle... Right, Martin, Dubravka. Dubravka, there's no, there's no S's in there. There's no, uh, well, there's no S key eyes. Or... I'll, I'll start getting his name right when he actually comes to the great country of Scotland, right, and starts playing in the best league in the world. I am sick of all Championship. these... No, I, I'm sick of all these... See, what's all these dumb fucks, man, especially from Northern Ireland? And, and, and they claim that... Um, the English Premiership's like the best league. It's just so fucking generic. You know, it's like one person said it. It was like a tagline. Now everybody says it. The Premier League's boring as fuck. And see the see a lot of these people that claim it's the best league in the world. They never. They don't actually watch it. You're lucky if they watch one game a season. Yeah, I, I totally agree. They don't have Sky. They don't watch it. The, atmos C the atmosphere's boring. City dominate. The three teams that come up go down. Um. I <sighs> 
Again, you could argue that with our league, though, you know, that no one really new comes up and it's the yo-yo teams and Celtic win the league every year. So nah, the, pre- fucking- the Premier League's the most bonus league out there. It's all about retaining possession. Wingers are afraid to take anybody on. They don't want to lose the ball. Play out for the back. I think fucking Pep is ruined Fipper. Pep's ruined Fipper, but... Everybody plays the same. It's all the same style. See the back, the, oh, well, you know, Stoke. There is no Stokes anymore. No, I agree. I, I like back in the day when you had all the different styles of play. You you just don't get it anymore. And it's, here. it's all about possession. You can't lose the ball. you got players, like goalkeepers and defending it. They have to be like as good as passing it fucking purely. That's why Europe's better, though. Because Europe's got all different styles. 100%. Nowadays, in the, in the Premier League, if a goalkeeper can't pass like Pirlo, he's... Yeah. Who cares if you can make loads of great stops, man? If you carry past the ball, then you're, you're not good enough to get in the team. But anyway, is this guy going to go to Celtic? One million. Are they going to pay that? They've got a war chest. I mean, why not? Why not is the answer. I mean, again, I I, I see where you're coming from, but... I don't know. I, it's, a, it's an underwhelming signing, I think. You know, I think he's a good goalie, but I think Celtic are expecting to sign a goalie that's young. And can either stay at them for like 10 years or be sold on. Well, I think the Callagher links were garbage to begin no, with. Oh, they were ridiculous. I, I mean, Celtic were not paying 20 million for a goalkeeper. Nor do I think he's really justified that 20 million price tag, to be honest. No, I agree. But um, what, what would I rate this out of happening out of 10? I'd give it a 6. I think if it was on a 3, I would rate it a lot higher. I'm not saying a million's going to break the bank, but I could just see Newcastle demanding more than a million. If Rangers sold Butland and brought in this guy, would you be happy? We'll put it this way. If we, if we, if we sold Butland, I would take this guy, absolutely. I wouldn't be happy right now getting rid of Butland and bringing him in, but if Butland was sold, I'd absolutely take him, yes. Well, there you go. But maybe, that, maybe that's just the, the situation we're in, though, at Rangers. But anyway... I mean, is it better for Celtic to spend £1 million on this guy, who you know is pretty good, rather than spend £5 million on someone that you don't know, like a Barkas, who could... But I just think when you're spending that money on an unknown player, you've got the, the, you know, you've got the hope. And sometimes it's the hope that kills you. But it's just there's a bit more excitement in signing a player that you don't really know and that could potentially be great. Rather than paying a million for a goalkeeper that you know is just, you know what he is. El Generico. Anyway, guys, leave your thoughts down below. There'll be more transfer news coming shortly. But until next time, peace.